Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Ocasio-Cortez's approval rating is in. Her explosive reaction is absolutely priceless. Representative Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez's approval ratings are in, and her explosive reaction to the results is absolutely priceless. After a brand new Quinnipiac poll revealed her tanking poll numbers and soaring unpopularity, Ocasio-Cortez blamed Fox News and conservatives for people disliking her. Quinnipiac found that only 23 percent of the nation has a favorable opinion of Ocasio-Cortez compared to her unfavorable rating sitting at 36 percent. That means she is upside down by whopping double digits, 13 points. But perhaps the most incredible part of the poll was that only 47 percent of Democrats view Ocasio-Cortez favorably. 7% of Democrats view her unfavorably and 44% said they have never heard of her before. The poll continues to get worse for Ocasio-Cortez. Quinnipiac found that only 20% of independent voters have a favorable opinion of Ocasio-Cortez compared to her unfavorable rating sitting at 36%. But wait, there's more. The poll found that only 27% of women voters view her favorably, with 30% have an unfavorable opinion of Ocasio-Cortez. In response to the survey, Ocasio-Cortez lashed out on Twitter and blamed Fox News and conservatives for her very bad polling numbers. It's almost as though there is a directed plus concerted far-right propaganda machine with a whole cable news channel, and a dark money internet operation propped up by the Mercers et al. dedicated to maligning me and stoking Natal division, she wrote. It doesn't take much to understand why so many people have a negative opinion of Ocasio-Cortez. In short, it is her wildly unpopular socialist ideas and policies that would impose great danger and harm on the nation if they were ever implemented. Maybe voters also are not too happy with her because she has already been hit with three ethics complaints since becoming a member of Congress just three short months ago. The first complaint involves allegations that she illegally funneled money to her boyfriend, Riley Roberts, who is apparently working for her campaign behind the scenes. The second complaint alleges Ocasio-Cortez and her chief of staff, Saika Chakrabarty, may have intentionally concealed information about their control over the far-left group called Justice Democrats. A third ethics complaint accuses Ocasio-Cortez of using government resources for campaign purposes. The complaint alleges she's violating government rules with her use of social media. It has also been reported that Chakrabarty allegedly funneled over $1 million in political contributions to his private business. Quite amazing to see Ocasio-Cortez has been slapped with three ethics complaints over actions that very well could be illegal. That's the exact definition of the corruption in Washington that many Americans want drained from the swamp, and rather than take any responsibility for her actions, she blames Fox News and conservatives for her awful poll numbers.